20 plus new pro tricks in CSGO and here's Team Sangle with a Coolio 3-man tower on Vertigo, pass on the very top to try to screw up opponent's A defense. It results in 2k and A bomb site wide open, sometimes one creative boost is all what it takes. Next up, Mihu with a fresh supportive smoke to help your teammates to peak long corner early. Throwing position is very simple and aiming point at the top part of the door's wooden frame. Then jump throw. What it does is that if CTs would Molotov longhouse, it denies that Molotov. Plus even if there's no molly, smoke would still leave enough room for your teammate to peak the long corner. As we can see here in Thomas's perspective. In this round, no real action, but rounds later we can see how this smoke allows even two guys to easily peak the corner, plus they do it with success. They also call it the success when you buy your skins from a trusted site so you won't get scammed. This video is sponsored by Skin Baron, which is a legit registered company in Germany and you can find all the founders from Google. For example, one of the co-founders, Toby, is a former big coach. Prices on the site are way cheaper than on the Steam market. The best deals are on the front page. No hard registration needed, just log in with your Steam and buy, sell or cash out your CSGO skins with ease. Link is in the video description, trade your skins smart. PHR is a powerful young gentleman who is able to boost snacks into this cool edge spot on train. As you should know, all those windows at upper B are boostable like that and they play a cool setup at upper where PHR takes the first contact if needed. So snacks only worries about lower plus opponents coming out from lower shouldn't in theory be ready for this kind of upper B angle. Now when the time finally comes and T's push lower, the theory works flawlessly, no one sees snacks as he's able to convert this sneaky spot into a nice multi-kill. Here's enemy's perspective and indeed the background of this position works in favor of a CT, surely a nice trick that could work in your next train game as well, feel free to try it out yourself. Next up a cool flash lineup that Apex used to support RPK's aggro play through the longhouse doors, hug this wall, aim a bit above the stone edge and make sure flash flies to the left of the longhouse itself, then walk plus jump throw. A great trajectory that should blind most of the angles watching at the long doors and in this case as well, RPK got an easy frag onto full blind Tizian who was actually very ready for someone pushing those doors, Vitality's flash game was just too strong. Vertigo and the sick new boost from Team Sinners, we are in Neofrax POV, they all stand on this metal post pile and build a 3 man tower here to ultimately see through the window hole towards T spawn, an insane angle that no one should even consider to be a thing unless they have watched the demo or this video and even if T's are already closer and are coming out middle, you have a pretty strong setup for eco rounds to welcome them, super general. Zaivu with a pixel perfect smoke on Dust2, that was posted on Reddit a couple of years ago already, but Zaivu could be the first top tier pro who used it in an actual game. Get stuck in the middle of this fence and stay crouched, aim like shown. Just for your information, without the zoom machine, it's near impossible to get it right, plus 10 jump throw. Smoke bounces and pops on the door, which gives you pretty much an Xbox smoke effect, but since the smoke is closer for CTs, it should also deny their aggro moves through mid doors to catch anyone at lower tons. And here's the aggro move for lower tons, Rob stands on this stone, aims like shown. Then a simple left click throw which results in a good supportive flash for your teammate to quickly pick lower tunnel slash xbox area, Carrigan is the player nearby doors, here's a step in close lower, most likely calls the flash for himself, in this case it's a 1v1 trade but not a bad try at all because if there would be no Kenny S in T spawn it could have been an easy 5 vs 4 situation for mouse, a very simple yet potentially brutal flash bang. Next up, a creative 3 man tower on overpass right in the beginning of the round, CT spawn, Triumph boosts one junior up on top to check for anyone who jumps near T spawn and since Chaos likes to throw the jump throw molotov there and Triumph most likely knew it, it's an easy entry kill for them, that's some top notch counter counter strike. Overpass again and Hooksy with yet another alternative monster smoke from CT side of A Banana. A simple corner position, aim a bit below the dark part of the bush, 
plus charm throw. Like all the monster smokes, it will bounce off from the train bridge and land in front of the monster, potentially winning your teammates on B some extra time plus saving their utility. Eligius POV, he takes a position at his stone brick corner, aims like shown. I guess he uses the flashbang's top part to line it up and then is ready with a right click throw. If you feel it's the right time, go release it and enjoy some full blind enemies as they would need to take the flash straight in their faces or turn their backs towards you. Both options should be very very okay for you. Enjoy! Next up, Musa Nuke. Firstly, he needs double doors to give enemies no door sound cues to work with. And then he gets into a secret corner, aims like shown, plus left click throws a smoke. It's another alternative one way smoke for secret that in this case grants moves with a great amount of info plus a nice little 2k on top of that. Groovy AF. A bomb site on Dust 2 and Jax with an awesome retake smoke to help G2 to win the round. He lines himself up according to the wall, then aims a bit above the lamp's metal part, plus charm throws. Smoke takes some time and then pops next to the long cross corner, making it possible for Hunter to peak ramp and get a 1v1 duel with Rain without the support from Cold Sarah, who was holding the bomb site from long. Simply genius, round winning smoke. Vertigo in Stewie's eyes with another insane three man tower at middle. They use this boost before their B retake to catch anyone off guard and make the retake numbers easier for them. Saivu has literally no idea what hit him, so Liquid's retake went just a whole lot easier from 4v3 to 4v2, and eventually they won that round with all four players surviving. Easy as that. Balloon slash party area on overpass, here I wanna quickly show you how Boomage uses tables to hide himself as he only occasionally stands up to see top con plus catch anyone off guard. This round there was no action in connector but I thought that detail was interesting enough to feature it here. Next up Fallen's POV on Nuke, a quick supportive smoke that I have never seen to help your teammate to cross the secret, hug a red box position, aim at the top of the E post plus a left click throw. Smoke pops in the middle of outside and in this case covers a leech who also had a very good spawn to safely get into secret. Tees might see him crossing but it's still safer than nothing. Smoke right and press like, a very nice. All right, Kiro's POV on Dust 2 that teaches us yet another Xbox smoke. He backs himself into the stone wall corner, crouches, aims most likely with his view model so smoke grenade touches this blemish on the wall then stands up plus left click throws. Smoke takes a lot of time to land so make sure to wait it out before you peek out middle but if you do everything correctly it's a nice xbox smoke with an uncommon throwing position, use it well. Here's Sanji, firstly with a wall bank to be short tunnel and then a molotov plus boost over combo. Nothing too fresh, I just haven't seen that particular lineup for this molly as it's more commonly thrown under the boost with a bounce from the little stone ceiling on top. Landing places are the same though, Sanji also gets flashed in before he stands up and peeks but enemies were pretty ready for this move though as Sanji gets quickly traded by Mezzi but fire did its work, forcing everyone kinda out in the open at B short. I really like this next smoke from Tapson, he stands in the middle of Short's top part, aims with his thumb at the antenna like shown, plus left click throws. Smoke does some great bouncing like a regular US twerker and ultimately blocks off the left side of top middle, making it pretty hard for Tease to actually fully control mid, surely an amazing piece of utility to keep your opponents on their toes. Not so uncommon move, but here you can see MSL entering Kenny S after a wonderful two man tower behind that smoke. Chris Chase, little inferno wall bank from short to pit. I think I showed you a better lineup in my last new tricks video, but this is how he did it, and I'm not sure if this was his original plan to hit the stone wall with this one. 
Next up, nuke. That's what could happen when you have studied your opponent well and you know what positions they like to use. Make sure class is broken and feel free to pause the video for exact lineups yourself. But that's how Config and Rush double Nate Perfecto to take him down without touching him, without seeing him and without even being in the same room with him. Watch out, because that's how it could go. We're gonna continue with an FPL game in Magic's eyes. Very simple one way smoke on Mirage. Right click it loosely goosely in front of bench. And if you climb the half wall yourself, you should have visual advantage against your enemy. This round, sadly, no real action in B. But maybe your next Mirage game, this is exactly what you need to surprise your opponent. All right, the smoke idea straight up from Snacks stream. Mirage B bomb site. He hacked this wall under those red marks and aimed kinda in the middle of those. Then go straight backwards till you hit B apartments. If you're ready, then left click throw. As you can see, it's a pretty safe spot if you have B short control and this throw results in an easy but slow market window smoke. If you have time to throw this, why not to do it and just go with your feeling because the lineup allows you to do plenty of mistakes. Inferno in Shox's eyes, with a flashbang to support his teammates aggro play at bottom middle, line yourself up with a wall like that, aim at the shadow corner, then a little walk step plus jump throw, flash pops over the roof and in this case helps Zed go to clear T ramp, a small detail that's very powerful when you use it correctly as a team. Have fun! And we're gonna end this video in Mezzi's POV, phenomenal little flash for your vertigo A ramp peak as a T. Throw it like that and receivers can't see nothing but a subscribe button which they should touch to learn some new neat tricks in the near future.